All right, what's up guys? We are back for another ESPN highlight reel and oh my god, what a week it's been. Guys, if you have any questions throughout this, just text me at 213-458-5997. That is for immediate questions. If you actually want me to get on the phone with you, book a call on the website, which I'll show you in a little bit, but let's dive right in, guys. There's so much to cover. This is this is an insane week. So Alex's small account challenge for anybody that don't, doesn't know, at the beginning of 2023, guys, started at 35K. I will get into what he's at right now. He had a goal of a million dollars by the end of the year. Let's just say he's about 98.5% of the way there, but we'll get into that in a second. So if we cruise on over to February 6th, I'm going to go to a 20-day chart here for a second. Bear with me. What we're going to do is we're going to go to CVNA. Alex made, and I'll read this for you. Alex made 9K on Monday, February 6th. Great meltdown on CVNA today. Today is the move I wanted. Friday that did not come. I'm glad I did not take it off my radar. This was a great red to green rejection short and adding to my winner. Incredibly proud of my stock selection today, ignoring the AI sector, which is just banging right now. So on the watch list on Monday, Alex was saying, you know, every single every single day, guys, during the week, Monday through Friday, we have a watch list curated. Exactly what you should be paying attention to. It looks exactly like this. What you have an edge on. And this is what Alex was saying. CVNA, looking for major bounces at the open short. More commentary at the open. Only looking for nail and bill trades as this stock is extremely choppy. So he makes 9K on this. Let's kind of pull it up. Uh, it's the Monday was the 6th. Let's see. Going back right here uh, on Carvana. Where are we? We're right there. So guys, as you can see, Alex got that rejection that he wanted from the red to green. Everything he piled in size and then uh, it just is such a beautiful job. Such a beautiful job. So you guys can see these executions right here into the open. Um, it, it's just so beautiful. Nail and bail, exactly what he wanted as per the watch list. You guys have to understand that every single member who reads the watch list has a pre-game plan hours before. Guys, literally hours before the trade. Why would you want a community that's like, oh, I got alerts. I got a text thread that this guy just got in 30 seconds, you know, ago so I can follow. And then he pump and dumps on his guy. Like, this is not an alert community. This is a mentorship community. Let me explain the difference between alerts and mentorship. Alerts are spunk it in the second excitement, no plan, just execution on reactions Guys, this is thought out hours in advance plan that while we ask that you don't copy us directly because we're trying to breed winners who think for themselves, I mean, just think about it, guys. Like, you know the areas, you know the game plan, you know the lines. This is what true mentorship and true guidance does. And Alex always has his watch list curated every single day and you guys get to follow along. So this is how you learn yourself, guys. And I just showed you on that day. So... You know, and then you, and then again, if your executions, you know, somewhat match Alex's, you know, you're doing a really good job and you're starting to really understand process. So Alex smoked Carvana CVNA on Monday. Let's go right into Tuesday, guys. This was like, oh my God, this was like the LeBron grand slam, slam dunk, 360 hole in one, every sports combined. Guys, 300 and nearly $51,000 on Tuesday. Holy F. I will try to keep the cursing out of this. <laughs> uh, trading is all about waiting for that 90% setup and sizing in abnormally. Bed, bath, and beyond, guys. BBBY, which has totally been in play lately. Uh, short blowout yesterday and offering was the perfect opportunity to size the F in. Been at the desk for 12 hours today, but totally worth it. Thank you, apes. I would curse my balls off if I could, guys. But you know this day and age of censorship and YouTube, you kind of got to play by the rules just a little bit. But you know we're sailors. <laughs> through and through, man. If you listen to my webinars, you guys have any idea. We're actually sailors. But I'm going to try to keep it tame for this. So we're going to the 7th. All right, where am I? Where, ah, I got this 20-day chart just likes to skip around on me. All right, so, so. This was the day, guys. Bed, Bath & Beyond, major, major, major pump, had an offering, got smoked, and then let me pull up the chart as well. Oh my gosh, there's so many notes on the chart. What a good lesson. So as you guys can see, $350,000 with no shortage of unbelievable scaling. 
re recycling, hitting it again, hitting it again, hitting it again, writing the trend down. Alex knew exactly what he wanted once that offering hit, and he knew what he was getting himself into. So this was the watch list of the day, guys. BBBY, main focus for me today. My plan on BBBY is to cover size pre-market before SSR turns on dips and then reshort a bounce at four when SSR turns on. I'm going to be majorly focused. So uh, I have a ton of members charts, guys, but I wanted to spend a little bit more time on this, so I will get into members charts, so I skip Monday just for the sake of time, but I will go in from Tuesday to show what the members were doing. But look at this, guys. So, you know, BBBY is up. Alex says, I started in a BBBY short and added to a winner. I, I went full size on offering, reshorting size into bounces, really thought four would hit, so save some just in case. But as you guys can see, I wanted to kind of cover this last, is the fact that Alex was covering, guys, all the way over here to recycle. These are recycles. So this should be a default. It's always about, yes, where are good entries and sniper entries for short. But guys, are you covering along the way too? And I always want to like really, really harp on your covers. So again, you know, step one, Alex is shorting this and adding to a winner. Second, he's full size. He's covering though a lot of size guys to cushion himself. So when this pops back up to where he wants in the outer lines on something that he knows is going to trend lower, he's reshorting size in a bounces. This is called recycling. So this is what we do. Really thought four would hit. Uh, so save some just in case. Obviously it didn't hit four, but man, he was slamming here, covering, covering, reshorting, covering, reshorting following the trend down, what we call recycling and cover dips, reshorting pops, and then he gets his final covers in an end of day washout in the freaking twos, guys. So, you know, I want to spend a little bit of time on this and just show you guys how unbelievable this move was over the course of these two days and what goes up must come down, especially on something that's kind of a cult stock that really has no business still being in business and it's and it's really just cult ran. So, you know, they're looking at bankruptcy like this is a whole thing with Bed Bath & Beyond, but as per usual, the members freaking followed the watch list. They crushed it as well. And uh, let's take a look at what a couple of the members were doing on BBBY and other stocks. So this is what I love, guys. While Alex was trading BBBY, that's not necessarily your focus if you don't want it. It was on the watch list and a lot of members banked and did some really good jobs. But, you know, bonds on GSUN, trading outer lines for the wash. I love it. And then, and then David on BBAI, that was running too. You know, shorting bounces, covering the washes. Fantastic job. You know, Bond on LIXT, using outer lines exactly like we teach, as you guys can see, hitting a stock short where it failed previous. And then Rockman doing exactly what he does. He follows it, you know, again, guys, again, when a stock fails right here where do you think you want to hit it where the stock failed before that's what you call sniper entries versus a stock where it's slamming red on the day whether it's you know um day two day three day four day five in the run you know when a stock slams red and that's what you're looking for you know this is when a chain you know this is when the sentiment shifts this is when the trend is truly changing so after 9k on monday 350k on tuesday guys what do you think alex is thinking going into wednesday i need a freaking day off and I don't blame the guy. Jeez, he's still human, man. I mean, he's the he's he's David and Goliath. You know, he's he's the man, the myth, the legend. But man, even the legend needs a day off, for God's sakes. But I'll be taking the day off today, guys. Feeling really mentally exhausted, essentially from BBBY, obviously. I need a day to rest and relax, guys. You should do this for yourself as well. This is a great lesson from this video. Just because, guys, you are trading every single day as a full time trader and making money, doesn't mean that you don't need to kind of have an R&R &R day. Like, welcome to trading. This is a mental game. It's very mental. So protect your mental as well. Tom Tom Kai, Wednesday, BBBY convertibles dump started as expected. Awesome job covering 40k, 40K share swing position. Please bounce so I can reload. I love it. Really, really good job, Tom. Uh, Irvin, uh, you know, we have a lot of sleepers in MIC, guys, just because we're not always posting P&Ls and stuff because we like to focus on process in the charts doesn't mean there's so many members just absolutely crushing, paying their mortgages, paying off houses, and just really killing it as traders, and that's the name of the game. But what we preach over everything is beautiful entries and beautiful stopouts and not big P&Ls because it, every community can, you know, show big P&Ls and a lot of them fake it. But what we do is we want to show how the members are really getting process from literally really good entries on outer lines, really good covers, really good longs, really good sells, really good stopouts. Like I just said, if you're wrong, and that's what we really focus on. We're not, 
look, I always use the boxer analogy. If another community figured something out in trading and they're like, yeah, we're going to teach you an uppercut, you know, to a, bo to be a boxer. It's like, dude, we're going to teach you the sleep routine, the freaking eating, you know, habits of a boxer. We're going to teach you the full mental thought process. And I use, I use a different analogy than trader. Cause it's just, it's just fun to kind of mix it up every now and then. And I love that boxer analogy is it's like, we're not just going to teach you an uppercut, man. We're going to focus on literally eat, sleep, and breathing boxing. In this case, obviously, just trading. But you guys get the idea. You're you're a price action athlete. So I think some of the best analogies is always talking about athletics and professional athletes and what like what Floyd Mayweather has to go through to be at his level as a boxer. Like it's very specific. It's a whole. He doesn't just know how to uppercut, guys. He knows everything. So Josh on Q Q U B T. Uh, he was saying is an example of the concept that Aloha Trader was talking about in one of his webinars. We always talk about this about 50, 70% of the move, maybe 100% back to outer lines. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Where the stock failed before, slam it again. Love it. Love it. That's MIC process, guys. That is not a PL. That is process through and through. A PL is not going to teach you anything. This is going to teach you everything. When the top is set, much easier. I love what Wolf did right here, guys. Wait for the top. Don't be a hero. You know, if you do short front side, you know, front side shorts require front side covers. But if you wait for the sentiment shift, the top out and the back side of the move, my God, what a walk down a golden path and so much easier of a trade as Hooper X is showing you right here on CELZ after that morning stuff right there. And there's just a ton of good examples of that guys like I don't, we've been saying the same stuff for years this should be clicking by now oh my god so alex has a rest day and thank god he did because the dude came in swinging so what and you guys gonna see what he made actually today but this was yesterday so this was thursday february 9th basically 21k Thank you to the toxic delusion of Bed Bath & Beyond for the daily opportunities. Nice pre-market shorts to start the morning, covering on the opening washes and adding to the bounce at three. Uh, also caught some scalps on AI short. Really wanted to hit ICU on a short, on a bounce short, but it never came. Tesla looking to have topped out short term as well. So as Alex was saying and prepping for today, which was tomorrow, um, as well so that is on radar and then he makes 71k today on tesla so you guys get the idea we are always planning we're prepping we're analyzing the monopoly board to make some money i'd like to squeeze some money out of this you know that's a famous movie line uh so uh if anybody's th seen the departed go up that movie line where he's like you know i'd like to squeeze some fucking money out of this game you know <laughs> that's one of my favorite movie lines but oh shit i cursed oh dude i just did it again there goes the monetization but guys check this out so we're coming in i didn't want to show bed bath beyond because i already harped on that so much but essentially if i just scroll right here you know alex was alex was crushing guys pre-market on yes on thursday which was yesterday right there and then uh if we go into also that day yesterday ai is what he was talking about and I actually have a chart for you. So, so right, oh, but let me pull up the watch list for you. Uh, so AI, these will follow AI obviously, which is the head of the snake. So with AI having a PR today, I don't know if the fade will be so easy. Uh, might make sense to wait for the ten, first 10 minutes of the open to see if the move gets rejected or not. More commentary at open. And guys, Alex did, it, I mean, essentially that, you know. If we come into yesterday, what did he do? Uh, just just a really beautiful job on, you know, waiting for the morning action to happen. A tank and then, a you know, a test of red to green and then a fail. And then just essentially just a nice little scalp. And he was already cushioned from BBBY. So you guys get the idea. This is where it gets fun, guys. And this is why I'm a little bit less focused on member charts this week because I want to show you how crazy Alex is like the Usain Bolt this week of P&Ls and just sprinting towards the finish line. So, guys, again, we started the year with a 35K account challenge to show you what is possible. Alex only had a million dollar target for this specific account by the end of the year. Guys, he's at 909000 that we started on January 4th within 26 actual trading days. Alex said nine, dude, he's 10% off his mark. He only wanted a million. So let's just take a second, see what the members are doing. Cause it's always so fun to see what the members are doing. Travers, awesome, awesome job on S O U N. I love this. He caught the dip. He caught the support, sold the rip as usual and piecemealed the whole way out. It's just beautiful process, man. It really is. And Diego, as I was saying earlier, guys on SL can, uh, SLQT, 
front side shorts require front side covers and this is exactly the way you should be playing if you are shorting something instead of the backside once something is topped out so just beautiful a little hard for to zoom in on all these you know for soy sauce i just took a major screenshot but i just love the commentary right here guys he nailed everything he said thanks mic guys we provide a watch list every single day to give you an edge this is what it's all about soy sauce is crushing rockmon <laughs> I'm laughing with you, buddy. I know this is more of a like, dang, why did I cover? Look at what can happen. But guys, you have to understand this is still a win. You're still making money. It's a total pike job. And, and I'm not calling rock mine out specifically. We do it all the time. I do it every now and then guys, welcome to trading. You're not going to be a Kobe Bryant layup every single shot you take. You know what I mean? It's not, a, you're not going to be sinking threes in every freaking scout. Okay, guys, this is where we end the week with even more interesting news on top of everything being interesting. So you guys know that Alex had Tesla on radar. He, he, it was a prerequisite from, you know, yesterday's watches. He was talking about it. He said a sh sentiment shift. Uh, you know, the market's looking a little shaky yet. I don't trust this market for shit. And I think that we have a lot lower. But, you know, again, we don't have a crystal ball. But this is what it's kind of feeling like. So Alex said Tesla topped out yesterday. So looking for all bounces with a risk at red to green to short today. Guys, I, I, why are you not a part of MIC? Do you have any idea how many of our thousands of members bank today on Tesla with Alex and made 3K, 5K, 7K, 20K, 40K, you know, $200, whatever size you put on. But guys, we guide you every single day on how to one, supplement your income and hopefully full on replace it and get out of that job you don't like. 71K after Tesla ran 100% in a short period of time, I was stocking it for a profit taking day exactly what today was guys friday yesterday the stock topped out and i felt like all bounces today on the stock would get totally sold off this was a high probability trade for me so i loaded in short and covered near dead lows for an awesome way to end the week unfortunately guys i couldn't find alex's chart so i don't have that for you but as you guys can see you can't fake that uh seventy one thousand dollars guys for the love of god alex is alex is a freaking monster so you know bringing his grand total which we're taking very very careful analysis of and making sure you see every single day guys the goal is a million by the end of the year alex is literally by the end of today officially at nine hundred and eighty thousand. he's twenty thousand dollars off his mark which he wanted by december 31st and guess what he has it what's the date it's uh february 10th my god this this kid's this kid's an animal let's see what the members are doing to kind of like wrap up this friday guys MDDG member, awesome freaking job on CVNA and Tesla. The members were crushing Tesla today, guys. Tesla Short, thank you so much for the commentary and the watch list. Alex Tamiz, uh, David, sick nails, awesome job. Uh, all out, wish every day was like this CVNA. Great job, commentary was banger. Oh, MDDG, caught Tesla as well. What a shock. We have great mentorship and great community. Uh, X Pond for Hooper X beautiful job and then to top it all off i love what wolf does he just absolutely waits for these things to top out hits backs he's so good at that like i love that dude i'm always so impressed when a front side trader can do really good front side or a backside trader can do really good backside and i'm sure there's a sexual pun in there but try to keep it uh pg-13 guys so a couple things i want to show you this is our slack platform this is our channel guys so every single day we are guiding you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna find the watch list channel for one second. Watch list right here, guys. Every single day, as you guys can see, Monday, February 6th, 7th, 8th, as I scroll today. These are all the watch list, guys. And then you take that watch list, and then every single day you go into the main trading chat. What was talked about in the watch list? Why do we have an edge? Post it. Bow, Alex, the moderators, everyone educating all day, warnings executions stock charts fills like like what don't we have as a community i've never seen a community with this kind of mentorship like nobody is doing what we're doing if you're looking at five communities guys literally ask themselves if they have this kind of resource all day 30 plus moderators two mentors that are teaching you and guiding you all freaking day it's unreal like nobody is doing this Large cap and options room, if you're not a small cap trader, guys, play, pay attention to the indices, you know, real big cap companies, Google, Microsoft, Tesla, things like that, um, you know, after hours to make it fun, you know, network, shoot the crap with your fellow traders, make jokes, share your drinks, get to know each other. If you need an engineer, there's an engineer in here. If you need an electrician, there's an electrician here, I'm sure. So many members. Share your big old dinners. That looks like a pot pie. I don't know what that is, but it looks beautiful. Uh, guys, it's a fun time. 
get to know your fellow traders and share your PLs if you want. We got a meetup in uh coming up in Colorado, February 18th, where you guys can actually meet each other in person. M Sing crushing. Like, guys, we don't show that many PLs because again, we're so focused on process, but there's so many members like that we're just changing their lives in seriously monetary ROI. So, you know, not only are you gonna get a massive intellectual ROI and, and a skill set, a high income skill set ROI, guys, you're gonna get a monetary ROI if you trade the MIC process correctly, which a lot of our members have figured out how to do so tons of fun you know channels and live webinars a week but now we're on myinvestingclub.com guys this is our actual website a couple things i want to make just take note on really quick first things first you got to pay attention to guys i'm going to harp on this for a second this is the most important thing you could do when visiting the site most important roadmap number one download this free training get this free training sign up for this free training it's one hour put your name put your email you're going to get one hour free training number two go down don't take our word for it literally view alex's broker statements guys if you're skeptical alex has made 7.5 million in the last three years and that's not even counting 980,000 in the last three weeks like this is verified at the broker level like you can't ms paint and photoshop this shit this is real so if you guys have any questions about that obviously you can view these <laughs> i'm sure you can actually just call up the broker directly don't waste their time we actually provide them but hey if you're that skeptical i mean they are verified at the broker level so <laughs> you know if we go to the video library guys the third step the thing that i want you to pay attention to real quick is the keywords search fomo first red day whatever you're trying to learn Here's our content. If you go right here, there's a linear roadmap. And then we have Alex's live trades. This is something new, exclusive to lifetime members. So you gotta text me or book a call with me to upgrade a lifetime if you wanna get these, but check this out. Alex is going to record a lot of his trades and he does this all the time. And he, we send it to our editing team, we send it to the editing bay, we get it all pretty, all dialed up with music for you in audio commentary, because it's a little too distracting, guys, while Alex is actually recording his screen. You're, he might mess up a $350,000 trade if he's literally live talking to it. So he's live recording his live trade, but then we add audio commentary later for just benefits, so he can focus on the trade and then you guys can get the max benefit later. So we got that going on. And then the last things last, guys, here's my number of text, but book a call, guys. This is the most important thing you do. Do not take this webinar's word for it. Don't take the website's word for it. Get on the phone with me, one of three creators of this community, and I will literally block out time on my Google Calendar, my schedule, uh, you know, 30-minute you know, increments, and let's get on a call, and I will answer every question that you have about to see if MIC is for you. No gimmicks, no BS. Guys, get on the phone with one of the creators of MIC to see if you want to join this community and how it can benefit you. Now, of course, of course, guys, this is tradition. So you know we got to do it. Where is my calculator? Ah, you beautiful, beautiful calculator. All right, look at how fancy this thing is. All right, 9,000 plus 350,000 plus... 20.8 <laughs> Alex is a monster he's a freaking he's not human dude he's not this is your educator and 71,000 just you know a little little pocket change here that oh 450,000 a week and he traded four days guys this is your educator four hundred and fifty thousand dollars for four days trading into this new year of January and February two percent away from his goal literally if that like what are you guys waiting for man you gotta join mic you gotta you gotta you gotta ditch whatever bad habits you have a bad community you're already with you need to stop wasting time you need to get off your ass you need to get to work and learning real process from real traders guys nobody is doing what we're doing i'm done playing nice no community has three creators two mo two mentors that are educating every single day all day pre-plan watch list in the morning 25 plus moderators that you can learn from direct message some of them you can actually get on a phone call with there's no excuses anymore if you're stuck at a job you don't like or you're saving up for something guys like mic is a write-off if you have the right accountant there's no excuses anymore so if you have any questions about joining, book a call. I will satisfy all of those questions with wonderful answers on why we're going to change your life and it's time now. So guys, this has been the MIC ESPN Highlight Reel and I'm telling you, we're going to change your life if you sign up.